Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing a shot glass using an oven wrap. Now, these are very simple to do, and the best thing about this is you can use a conventional oven to press your shot glass as opposed to a heat press. The shot glass in particular has a different shape in that it's not flat all the way around, so this is a nice curved wrap. And it will give, it a, give us a nice firm fit and a good quality image when we go to press. Your conventional oven, it's important to note that you cannot use the same one that you cook with. You're going to need something completely separate for sublimation just because of the different inks and everything that's going to evaporate when we're actually sublimating. So to get started, I brought my oven wrap, a ceramic shot glass, the image I'd like to display, you'll notice it's in this nice arc. You can download the template. I've already cut this out. I have a sheet of protective paper and Pro Spray. You can use heat tape. Uh, we suggest Pro Spray, whichever you prefer. And I have some safety gloves. What we're going to do first is grab our image and lightly coat it with some Pro Spray. With our Pro Spray, we're going to be able to stick our image on our shot glass. Just kind of roll it all the way around. The Pro Spray makes this very easy to do because it lets you correct yourself if you make a mistake. Sometimes I find it's even easier if you don't want to just wrap it all the way around if you find your center and kind of curl up on the edges. With this in place, we'll grab our protective sheet of paper. We'll just wrap it around the shot glass. And I'll grab our oven wrap. This is our last little step. You're going to want to make sure that you finger tighten the wrap as much as possible. And I'll show you what we're going to do at the very end. So it should clamp. Kind of stay by itself. Feel it click. Once my wrap is as tight as I can get it with my fingers, I'm going to take a socket wrench. We have other tools listed on our instructions that you can choose from. We're going to do two complete revolutions with the socket wrench. And what this is doing is it's just going to give it a final tightening. And we don't want to do it more than that because we don't want to run the risk of breaking either the oven wrap or cracking your ceramic. So once it's nice and secured, it's ready for our oven. Now that my oven is at 400 degrees, we can put in our shot glass. We're going to keep it in there for 15 minutes. You may want to use a kitchen timer or any kind of timer that you have available. Make sure you keep your eye on that. And in 15 minutes, we should have a perfect shot glass. Now that my 15 minutes is up, let's remove our shot glass. Grab our socket wrench one more time and let's loosen the oven wrap. We're going to do it just enough so we can get this off. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Peel back on our transfer. Oh, that looks great. Looks excellent. The ceramic does stay hot for a while, so you're going to want to give several minutes for this to cool. For more products and services, including more information about our oven wraps, be sure to visit our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Renew with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.